Arvo all, just on 20 to 2, Thursday Arvo, and uh, my neighbour's problem child computer is all back together. Uh, this is part four of the problem child computer, which turns out to be, old mate is completely and utterly stinkingly incompetent. Um, <sighs> this is just... I mean, I should have had this, I should have realised this the minute I took the side off this thing last year, it was graphics. Um, I would have been, if I was working for a computer company right now, this would be sackable. They would have sacked me on the spot for not realising it was graphics. Um, and they'd have every right to sack me because that shows you a very high level of incompetence. And I just proved it. I just proved it. Um, okay. So I've updated everything. Uh, Windows updates are done. Up, Chrome's updated. Everything's buttoned up all nice and neat. Uh, I still can't find a um, thing for the graphics card. But um, I've spoken to my neighbour. I apologise profusely to them. They went, yeah, fine, fine. It's Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, which is a load of rubbish. Of course I'm going to worry about it. But as I said, um, I should have noticed this. The minute I took the side off this thing last year, I should have seen that it was a graphics issue. Um, and had I been, like I said, had I been working for a computer company, that's sackable straight away. Um, there was a company years ago back in Melbourne. I went for a job for them with them, but I failed the second round interview. Um, they expected a very high level of competence, knowledge, and um, rapid turnaround repair times. And the way it used to work, which is completely fair and legitimate, okay? You wanna work with these guys, not only do you have to have a high level of competence, you have to have a high level, high level of tech, tech knowledge, all right? What happened in the first round was, you'd have your first round interview and you were presented with a computer of some description and you had 30 seconds to diagnose the fault. If you did not diagnose the fault within 30 seconds, your interview was terminated. That was it. You're out the door. They basically would say, no, that's it. Sorry, interview over. Please leave. I got through the first round interview. The second round interview, the second round interview was immediately terminated because, again, you had 30 seconds to diagnose the fault, um, try and figure out what, what's going to be needed to repair it, and then issue a, a repair form with specifics and how long it would take to repair. I failed that. So I didn't get through the second round interview. All right. I would be sacked for not having fixed this within, you know, like I said, 10 seconds of opening the side. Here am I, you know, power supply, RAM, chipset, hard drive, you name it. And all along, the problem's been a graphics issue. So. If I, like I said, if I was working at a computer firm now, I would be, I, you know, I'd be sacked straight away. No warning, no nothing, sacked because it's incompetence. And with this job, I was incompetent. I was utterly incompetent. Let's face it. When you've got a hot RAM, when you've got hot RAM and a chipset that's boiling, it's not power. It's not capacitors. It's not filters. It's graphics. Straight away. Your first thought should be, drop a graphics card in it. I didn't. I thought we had voltage issues. I thought we had RAM failure. We had a chipset, that will control chip, whatever you want to call it, overheating. And the whole time, it was graphics. So I've apologised to my neighbour for my level of <laughs> inexplicable incompetence. Um, I've also... Cleaned, up, cleaned it all up, buttoned it all up tight. Um, 
run Windows Update, updated Chrome, reinstalled Firefox. I have an image of the hard drive backed up already so that if something does go wrong again, well, I will, you know, um, I have a backup for it. Their new computer is actually a Core i5 3.6 gig quad core, quad thread, uh, 32 gig of RAM behemoth. Which is funny because all they do is web browsing, emailing and word processing. But they've got this new computer in a um, Cooler Master case. So I had to think of it there for a moment. So, as I said, I've apologised to my neighbour. I've explained to them, you know, that this was solely my fault. Um, but there we go. I have actually offered, if they want, I'll do a free hard drive upgrade on this. I've got some brand new, well, when I say brand new, they're new to me, but they're raw drives. A couple of Western Digital Blue One Terrors, which, if they want, I'm happy to just give them. Uh, rather than make them pay for it, even though you know, I probably should. But, you know, there we go. Old mate's a dummy! Yes, he's completely stinkingly useless incompetent. Listen, if you get a problem like this, trust me, it won't be power, it won't be capacitors, it won't be RAM, won't be chipset, it'll be graphics. You drop a graphics card in there, 90% of your problems will be solved. Because they were with this. There we go. I'll catch you tonight, guys. Cheers.